Hi, and welcome to another Tran 3D Builder tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the automatic airport generation feature in Tran 3D Builder. We can find the airport generation feature in the menu under Utils and then Airport. Here, we are presented with the Generate Airport dialog, where we can enter an ICAO airport code. In this example, we're going to enter the code for the Frankfurt Airport, which is EDDF. OK, now we press Import, and we can see that many details of this airport have been loaded. We can see, for example, that it has four runways and a height of 108 meters. We can edit this data to fit our needs. For example, we can add or delete runways here change the width, the marking type, and so on. When we are ready, we just click OK. If we take a look at the vector tree, we can see that a new folder has been added. This is our airport. Notice that it has some subfolders, surface, markings, objects, and lights. If we select the lights, we can see that they have a light point modifier applied. Here, we could change the light point settings if we needed to. Let's select the airport and zoom to it by clicking on the Zoom to Selection button. Now we can draw a tile grid and increase the texture resolution of our project. Let's also add a planar area so that we have a flat surface on our airport and set its height to 108 meters. Let's move the planar area below our airport. Before we generate, let's go to Build, Generation, Set on Grid, OK, and Apply. This will define a local center of the database to achieve a higher accuracy. Now let's generate our project and see how it looks. OK, so our airport has been generated correctly. And if we take a closer look, we can see the lights. It's even easier to see them if we change the daytime under the lighting rollup. Well, that was it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hallo, ja, jetzt, jetzt bin ich dran, ja? Hallo, ja, ja, okay.